this is a short little video showing you how to use powders and silver leaf in a silicone mold. This is some metallic powder. It's not mica powder. It's metallic powder from Let's Resin. I use this on the bottom of my dishes. It comes in a five pack um, and it has silver, bronze, copper, a pale gold, and a rustic gold. It gives a really nice finish. Um, as you can see, I'm struggling using some of it from the cap there. Once I dip into the jar itself, wow, look at that coverage. Um, I sometimes put this on the sides of my dishes to give it a solid effect. They originally said you had to use black on the back of this, but I found that you don't. Usually when you have mica powders, you do have to have black on the back in order to see the colors that you're putting in with the mica powders. Um, this silver and these metallic powders from Let's Resin, you don't have to do that. You can put clear resin. As you'll see in a little bit, I color this resin um, with uh, some octopus inks. Um, just want to make sure the bottom is done. I didn't do the sides here. Cap it off so you don't spill the powder. And this is Aronia by Octopus Ink. It's an ink, not an alcohol ink, and it's a little bit deeper of a color. I ended up putting in about five or six drops. I edited this video down so you didn't have to watch all the drops I put in. Same thing as when the silver leaf part comes up. Um, that gets a little out of control. I think I added silver leaf a few times. Um, you want to get enough silver leaf. You want to break it up beforehand. I have a big jar of it. Um, you don't want to have large clumps. Um, and I found it's easier to break it up, put it into the resin, and then stir it around. And as you see, this will start up a few times um, where I'm stirring it. Then I go back to add more. Then I go back to add more. I think I go back three or four times because you do want to have the silver leaf. It does add sparkle on its own without having to add glitter. Um, but again, you do want to break it up. I use the tweezers there to kind of shred it as I'm going along. And as you're mixing, you can kind of smash it against the sides um, to make sure there's not any big clumps. You can also put it up against the sides to see how thick it is. And there, the ubiquitous glitter is being added because it gives some shine. Um, then when you go to pour, you just pour right over the metallic silver right there. It'll start going down the sides. Um, I think I stop a little bit here because I saw clumps coming up. So you want to get the clumps out of there, otherwise they'll cause holes or air holes or something. So there's a big clump of silver leaf right there that I'm going to get rid of. And let's see, I'll just keep pouring, pouring, pouring till it gets full filled up. Um, and I kind of tap it, lift it and kind of tap it and squeeze the edges to try and also get rid of any air holes. Um, you got to try all you can do with resin. Squeeze it, bang it, whatever. Maybe even torch it. I don't know if I torched that one. I just used a toothpick, it seems, to get um, stuff that was caught right under the edges. And just moving it around so the bottom would be a little bit smoother. And here we're demolding, and this was one hell of a mold to get out. I had to loosen up all the sides first and then start going off each point of the star. This took quite a long time. I also cut this part of the video down a lot because it was taking so long. But once it's done and it comes out, I like it. I like stars and I like moons. This dish was a little too big and I think it needed something else on the bottom besides the big silver spot.